Let's start from the very beginning, the light section of our V-Ray Asset Editor. We can find our default light source, the sunlight or ambient lighting. The intensity multiplier is the strength of the sun. We can leave this value at 1 for outdoor renders or slightly increase it to 2 or 3 for a bit more enhancement. For interior renders, we can make it 10 but don't forget to adjust the exposure value or EV in the camera settings. I've gone ahead and rendered this scene thrice, each scene having a different intensity multiplier. Let's go to the Files menu. Scroll down to Geolocation and click Add Location. We'll just accept this pre-selected region and click on Select Region. And click Import. This will be automatically placed in our scene. Let's zoom in. Now notice our shadow have changed quite a bit. It was like this before we used the geolocation tool. It's because this tool creates an accurate likeness of real world shadows in the virtual world of our model. And if we delete this region, the shadows generated from the geolocation tool remains. The size multiplier affects the softness or blurriness of the shadows when they are filtered due to objects that block direct sunlight such as clouds or dense tree leaves. We always set this value higher somewhere between 3 and 10. Let's take a look at these three settings here, the ground albedo, blend angle, and horizon offset. Now it says here that ground albedo sets the ground color of the V-Ray sun and the sky system. Let's just go ahead and take a render. So this must be the ground albedo. And if we click on this color box, we can change the color of our ground albedo. If we set the blend angle to 15, we will have a much larger blending area between the sky and the ground albedo. And if we set the horizon offset to 15, this blending area will be at a lower horizon. Finally, changing the albedo color affects the shades of the entire scene.